In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the return on investment. So let's start with this problem. John purchases a home for 250000 in 2019. Five years later, he sells it for 325000 What is John's return on investment? To calculate the ROI, or the return on investment, it's equal to the profit divided by the cost of the investment. And the profit is equal to the current value of the investment minus the cost of the investment. So I'm just going to write that here. P, the profit, is equal to the current value minus the cost of the investment. So let's calculate the profit first. He sells the home for $325,000. He bought it for 250000 so that's the cost of the investment, which we could put that on the bottom of the equation as well. And then we're going to multiply this by 100%. So it's 325, or 325,000 rather, minus 250,000. So that gives us a profit of $75,000. So now let's divide that by 250,000, and then Let's multiply the result by 100%. So the answer is 30%. So John made a 30% return on his investment in the five-year period. Now, with this information, how would you estimate his annual return on investment? So remember, he earned this in five years. So the annual return on investment is annual ROI. If we were to average it out, we could take the 30% and divide it over the period of five years. So on average, the value of his home was increasing by 6% per year on average without taking into account any effect of compounding. Now let's move on to our next problem. Number two. Karen purchases 500 shares of stock at $20. The stock rises to $27 in three months. What is Karen's return on investment? So go ahead and work on this problem. Feel free to pause the video. Let's begin by calculating the cost of the investment. So she purchased 500 shares of stock. And each share is $20. So she bought it at $20 per share. So the cost of the investment is 500 times 20. So she invested $10,000 into this company, whatever the company is. So that's the cost of the investment. It's 10000 Now let's see what the current value of her stock is. So she still owns 500 shares. And now the price of each share is $27. So the current value of her investment is 500 times 27, which is $13,500. So if she sells it at that price, we can now calculate the profit. The profit is going to be the current value minus the cost of the investment. So that's 13500 minus 10000 which will yield her a net profit of $3,500. So now let's calculate the return on the investment. So it's going to be the profit divided by the cost of the investment times 100%. So Karen earned a profit of 3500 She invested 10000 And so let's multiply this by 100%. So here's a quick way to get the answer if you don't have a calculator. We can cancel two zeros, and we can cancel another two zeros. So it's 35 over 1. So this is going to be 35%. So that's her return on investment. That's her ROI in a three-month period. 
So if you were to extrapolate this, what would be her annual ROI? What would you say? So if the stock continues to grow at its current pace, if she earned a 35% return in three months, then in one year, which corresponds to the word annual, in 12 months, it should be four times that amount, assuming the same growth rate. So 35 times four, this would be an annual ROI of 140%. Number three, Luke and James are looking to generate income from rental property. They both have $100,000 to invest with. Luke buys a two bedroom condo for 100,000 and earns a net profit of 1,000 per month by renting a condo. James somehow manages to buy four two bedroom condos for a total of 100,000 or 25,000 each. He also earns 1000 per month in net profit for each condo. What is the annual ROI for Luke and James? That is from their rental income. So let's start with Luke. So the ROI is going to be the profit divided by the cost of the investment times 100%. So we're looking for the annual ROI. So what is the annual income that Luke is receiving? So from this condo, he's receiving a profit of a thousand per month. So in one year or 12 months, his profit is going to be 12,000 per year. So that's how much he's earning by renting a condo. Now he invested a hundred thousand to buy the condo. So his annual ROI is going to be 12,000 divided by 100,000 times 100%. So his annual return on investment is 12%. So he's making 12% of his money that he invested with in rental income. Now let's do the same thing for James. Let's calculate his annual ROI. So let's use the same formula. It's going to be the profit over the cost of the investment times 100%. Now, James owns four condos, and each condo is netting him 1000 per month. So for the four condos, he's earning 4000 per month in net profit in rental income. So his annual profit, let's call that AP, it's going to be the 4,000 per month that he is receiving times 12 months. That's 12 months per year. So we can cancel the unit months. So four times 12 is 48. So 4,000 times 12 is 48,000. So that's how much he's receiving in rental income every year. So his annual profit is 48,000 divided by his cost of investment, which is 100,000. So this is going to be 48%. That's his annual return on investment. So every year, he's earning 48% of what he invested in, in terms of rental income. Let's work on one more problem. Susan buys a two bedroom condo for 80,000 in 2019. She rents it to a tenant and earns a net profit of a thousand per month. She sells the condo for 160,000 in 2029. During this 10 year period, she received a thousand per month for every month in rental income. Part A. What is her total ROI generated from rental income only? So go ahead and try this. So here is the formula. Now she's receiving, let's calculate the profit that she received from her rental income. She receives a thousand per month. 
and there's 12 months in a year and she's been earning rental income for a total of 10 years from 2019 to 2029 so the total profit that she receives from renting the condo is a thousand times 12 times 10 so she received 120,000 in rental income in a 10 year period. So that's her profit. And she invested 80,000 into this condo. So 120,000 divided by 80,000 times 100, that gives her a return on investment of 150% just from her rental income in a 10 year period. Now let's say if we wanted to calculate the annual ROI for the rental income, it's gonna be the 150%, which she received in a 10 year period, divided by 10. So her average annual ROI would be 15% per year. But the answer for part A is 150% since we were looking for the total ROI generated from the rental income only. So that's it for part A. Now for part B, what is her, what is the total ROI generated from the sale of her property? So the profit is the current value of the investment, which is 160,000. That's how much she sold the condo for. She bought it for 80,000. So that's the cost of the investment and then times 100%. So because her condo doubled in value, it increased by 100%. And so that's going to be her return on investment. If you take 160,000 subtracted by 80,000, you'll get 80,000. If you divide that by 80,000 and multiply it by 100, you're going to get 100. So that's the total ROI generated from the sale of a property. If we wanted to calculate the average annual ROI for that, so this was earned in a 10 year period. So the property, the value of a property was increasing by 10% per year. Now let's move on to part C. Calculate the total ROI and average annual ROI from both the sale of the property and her rental income. So when she sold her property, her profit was 160,000 minus 80,000. So the net profit was 80,000 from the sale of the property. And the profit that she received in rental income for the 10 year period, we calculated this already. It was a thousand per month times 12 months times 10 years. So she received a total of 120000 from renting a property over a 10-year period. So the total profit is 80000 plus 120000 which is 200000 So now let's calculate the total ROI. So this is going to be the total profit divided by the cost of the investment times 100%. So she received a total profit of 200000 the cost of the investment was 80000 That's how much she paid for the condo. And so 200000 divided by 80000 is 2.5 times 100. So her total ROI is 250%. Now, to calculate the average annual ROI, we're going to take that number and divide it over a 10 year period. So this is gonna be 25% per year. So on average, she was earning 25% from her initial investment. This includes the rental income and the price appreciation of her condo. So now you know how to calculate the return on investment. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. 
And if you like it, don't forget to subscribe.